Um, this is part two of what I, of last video, and uh, today we're gonna be talking about the um, upcoming construction project for Nelson. Uh First, I'd like to do an overview of what happened, of what we went over last video. So first, the urban interchange project was quick, efficient, and only took and it took less than four years to complete, which is usually very fast for projects that sometimes take double the time, even though they have less space to work with, even though they have like uh, less mileage to work with. Also, um, this project included the freeways of State Highway 183, uh, Texas Route 12, and Texas 114, and uh, Spur 482, which is why it creates a diamond. Um, also, um, the Midtown Express project was just an interim project. It was not really meant to actually completely fix the problems of all the freeways that went about, because as you can clearly see, nearly everything that they did is going to be rebuilt, readjusted, and redone once again, because it was meant to be an interim project as was said and when it addressed the 183 alternate project which will complete which will complete the extension on 183 which was the main highway involved in the Midtown Express project. So first things first um let's get started with uh Texas 114. Um Texas 114 as you know runs from uh as a freeway from like uh, Roanoke all the way to Dallas and ends at the Urban Interchange. Um, it's been under lots of construction as because uh, first the DFW Connected Project which uh, kind of adjusted interchange with the DFW Airport on um, uh, Texas 121 and also 635 was reconstructed and rebuilt many years back and all construction there finished in 2021. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is because um, where that project ended is exactly where the new uh, 114 project is going to pick up. Because this project is from International Parkway, which is kind of like the connected to DFW Airport, uh, to I'm pretty sure uh, uh, Texas 348 or Russia Boulevard because you know kind of like where the urban interchange project ended. So the main objective of this is to finally reconstruct the portion after uh, Russia Boulevard because the portion before that was kind of kind of redone around 2015. I was supposed to say that and uh, But it wasn't. But the portions west of that weren't really redone, other than the DFW connector project but of places. Because all they did there was add in circling during the Midtown Express project, and apparently Texas are spinning back for more because um, they knew that traffic here is absolutely big. Cause it gets you to the DFW airport, and there's obviously going to be lots of need uh, for lanes to be carried there. So they're going to improve the actual lanes and had um, somewhat continuous line roads, but though they're not always going to be continuous and uh, a shared bicycle path, like, you know, shared trail for pedestrians and uh, bicyclists can uh, drive, can walk, walk at the same time. Um, so I'll go over the improvements right now um, from Northwest Highway to Rochelle Boulevard, it will be, uh, I think like a 2 to 3 for the fringe roads, um, three, mm. uh, 3 general lanes, and still 2 express lanes in each direction. From, uh, from 348 to, um, to International Parkway, it will be 4 lanes in each direction. To total 
on the inside. Um, and and two or three fudge rubbers on the outside. Um, this project is obviously very important because uh, it involves the reconstruction. No, and adding of a new interchange because it seems that Texas are finally getting their marbles together when it comes to actually trying to fix the horrible interchanges which you kind of planned horribly back in the day. Which was the state, which was the state highway uh, 161 interchange and uh, state highway 114 interchange, the President George Bush Turnpike interchange with Texas 114 was never really a stack interchange. It was just you having to use the four drugs to enter to the other freeway. Um, and now they're changing that. They're actually going to add a, a stack interchange in, and that is something that the area massively needed because because um, currently they're setting there other than just them uh, crossing over each other and the front roads doing all the work. It would be nice to see a second change there, which is also one of the improvements they made there. But as you know, for most projects, uh, U-turn lanes are going to be added to nearly every intersection. Um, the general purpose lanes are going to be boosted, and hopefully this fixes up traffic a bit in the area because this is also a very important place as it leads up to the uh, DFW airport. Next up, we'll be talking about um, we'll be talking about Route 12 because wait, wait, wait! I forgot to mention last one. Um, that project is supposed to start in uh, June 2026 if everything goes to plan, and, uh, and it's supposed to like uh, I guess end in like a lot, around like 2030. Um, the next project we'll talk about is. The Loop 12 project. Loop 12 project is definitely very needed. That place has lots of traffic. Um, it's very congested. And it definitely does need the improvements that are going to be assigned to it. Um, I'm pretty sure this project is the one led the most for the latest out of all of them because it's supposed to happen in 2027. And this project will take Loop 12 from about uh, from three lanes in each direction uh, south of 183 so basically a uh, Union Bower the place where um, uh, the urban interchange project kind of ends for loop 12 and it kind of transitions back to its original pavement from there it will be expanded to Uh, it will still probably have three lanes in direction, but they'll also add express lanes. And if I'm not mistaken, an extra lane, I'll probably fix this in editing if I get it wrong. Um, but from, uh, but from like the I-30 interchange, it's definitely supposed to have four lanes in each direction, one express lane in each direction, and continuous front roads up until a spur for it where the loop toe freeway ends and it converts back into a road not a road like a, a surface street um, this project also includes the end of the South Fort Worth Turnpike because the last interchange one of the last interchanges on the South Fort Turnpike is going to get completely cut off the I-30 interchange with Loop 12 is going to be completely restructured and rebuilt and actually turned into a proper interchange. It's going to be actual stacks and not just be the turnpike is slow interchange we have right now. Uh, this is very good because it was definitely needed. I've seen that place on the back of um, But I'm glad they're finally getting business done there. Because uh, business needs to be done there, and Loop 12 has been under, I guess. Uh, Loop 12 has actually made these improvements for years, and it's quite obvious, and I'm glad something's being done in these areas. Um, we'll save the best for least. 
Um, now we're gonna talk about 183. So 183 project isn't that severe as you think. Um, its project is from uh, it's interchanged with uh, Dungeon George's Turnpike to 121. So here is where. So here they're actually gonna expand um, a lot. They're gonna buff the tech express lanes from one lane in each direction to two lanes in each direction. And then add like an additional lane to um, uh, 183, and they're gonna improve lots of interchanges, including its interchange with uh, the DFW uh, airport, which is the uh, International Parkway, uh, and also uh, 360 and, one and 161. Um, they're also going to completely reconstruct certain bridges that were kind of left there because remember uh, the Midtown Express project was an interim project. Most of it is probably going to stay. Uh, most of it like uh, west of uh, east of that is going to stay. But still things need to be redone, it needs to be rebuilt, and it needs to be re-established. Expansion is always going to happen in these areas, and it seems like there's always going to be a new infrastructure project in Irving. Um, I'm here to uh, I cover, um, I'm glad I was able to cover these ones, and uh, the Texas 183 project will happen in 2026, in early 2026, and will go on until probably late 2030. Um, next video, we're going to talk about Florney, and Florney is going to segue into my video after that because. It's just going to be me talking about USAD I-30 and um, uh, I'm going to start looking for what you can move towards those areas because those areas have lots of projects coming up and uh, those definitely need to be covered sometime soon. But yeah, nice video, nice being here again and uh, I know it's not that long, but hopefully I was able to at least get a little bit of insight on what's happening in Irving because the construction that here really never seems to end and there's always been a project here for the past 20 years.